Hey, it's Kim. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I'm sitting here at my desk and I'm about to put together my planner for 2021. And I thought it would be a great idea to take you guys along with me. I ordered a bunch of stuff on Black Friday or around the Black Friday time, uh, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday, all the things. So I ordered a bunch of stuff to get my planner set up and ready to go for the new year so I'm really excited to put it together and I thought it would be pretty cool to just take you along with me on the journey to see what I'm putting in my 2021 planner why I'm putting it in there and we'll kind of see how this works out so if that sounds like something you are interested in please continue to watch and also don't forget to subscribe oh and this is part of my planner playlist I do have a planner playlist on my channel i'll be sure to link it at the end of this video and also probably up in the cards if you're interested in watching the entire playlist all right with all of that out of the way i will pull out all of my supplies i'll get them here and get it set up and also switch to like another camera angle to kind of help you guys see closely what i'm doing and let's get started okay i got my extra camera set up and i'm really hoping that this is a good angle for you and you um, so here we go. Oh, coffee first. All right. So if you've seen my plan videos in the past, you know that the bulk of the things that I use come from cloth and paper. I just so happen to love all of her things that she shares, um, products that she creates. Um, I do subscribe to the subscription box every so often and yeah so I do like a lot of their things and I have a lot of the things on hand so this is my box of goodies that I've been collecting since um, like I said Black Friday Cyber Monday small business Saturday all the things to get some pretty good deals which there were a lot of great deals online to be had during that time and what I'm pulling out first are these rings so I do use a half letter disc bound system and I ordered these one inch discs, and I guess I should take them out. So I ordered these black metal one inch discs. I do prefer metal. I ordered these from Poi and Hun. I really wanted a 1.25 inch, which is the same size as these Happy Planner discs right here. And this is the Rose Gold Happy Planner disc. So this is a 1.25 inch disc, and the black one is a one inch disc. And I still ordered the one inch disc thinking that it would work for me. I'm still not so sure. So what I did over the weekend, I picked these up from Staples uh, from the Martha Stewart line and they're silver um, because also I was thinking that color might work well for me. Uh, but these are plastic, not metal. So we're gonna kind of see, but they are the 1.25 inches. So I'm kind of over these Happy Planner ones. I'm over the heart. I think I said that in a previous video. And I also wanted to do something different other than the rose gold. But I'm going to see if I'm going to use these black metal discs or these 1.25 inch plastic, uh, silver plastic discs from the Martha Stewart line. All right. So they're not bad, you know. Typical disc bound discs. I'm hoping that the pages slide easily. We'll see. Also, I have these dashboards that I ordered from East Street Paper Co. It's a new to me company, but she was having a 50% off deal on Black Friday, so I scored these. And anything I mention in this video, I'll be sure to link down below. So I'm gonna add these dashboards. And also what I did was um, I ordered a few printables as well and I printed those out and I have everything ready. These are the financial overview inserts from Infinite Lotus. So I have these printed out enough for a year. And also I went through my 2020 planner and all of my stash to see which dashboards I think I will want to use for the upcoming 2021 year. So I have all of that stuff here. Oh, also, I have another batch of dashboards that I have to go grab right now. Okay, uh, these are the dashboards I got from Elmon Paper Co. I ordered them and they just came in yesterday. So I'm gonna add these to my list of dashboards that I want to include for the planner. And I'll 
take you through everything that I got. So what I do, and I should show you that too, but I make a list of all the things I'm pretty sure I want to include in my planner. I'll list out all the sections that I think I'm gonna need. I'll list out um, how I'm gonna divide them up, any dashboards that I might need, so on and so forth. It's probably a little much for some people, I don't know, but <laughs> it's what I do and I like lists. So these, I have some journaling cards that I'm also going to decorate the planner with. A few from Poi and Hun. The rest from cloth and paper. Like I'm not gonna use all of these, but I want to pull them out so that I have them ready and available for me. I think this is a packing list from somewhere. I ordered a new pen to go with my planner. This one is from cloth and paper. It's the Sarasa Dry um, Grip, Dry Fit Grip Point Five. I do have this in the black color, and I really do like it. But I wanted a white one. Oh, and I also got the Ollie clip from Cloth and Paper, the current one or the recent one in the Affogato color, which I really do love. I also got the Affogato dividers, but they are not the same color as this, and I'm a little disappointed in that. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. I actually take those out now to show you. So, to my eyes, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But to my eyes, I feel like they look a little greenish. You tell me in the comments what you see. I don't know. I feel like they have like a green undertone that I'm not a huge fan of. I do really like their dividers in that they're thin and flexible and don't really add too much bulk to the planner. So because I'm not in love with the color, and I'll put the clip right next to it, completely different color. It actually looks a lot worse on my camera than it does in person. But it is definitely a, a different color. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. So we'll see. Alright. And again, I have some dashboards. I have some new ones that I didn't have before. I thought, I think I have this one. I just maybe can't find it. I don't know. But the Kobe dashboard, I know I don't have that. Kobe as in Kobe Bryant with a uh, quote from him. It says everything negative, everything. No, let me start again. Everything negative, pressure, challenges is all an opportunity for me to rise. So I thought that was really good, really cool. And their dashboards are really great. I love the way they feel. They feel almost velvety in a way. And these are the crystal clear dashboards. This is the ink splatter or ink splash. Not sure exactly what it's called. It has the protective film on there. That's why it looks a little bluish. But that's that. And you can use it as a dry erase board. And I also got the inbox version of that. So it's crystal clear. You can use it as a dry erase board. And I actually purchased some wet erase markers to use on those so that it doesn't smear or smudge. I have some hourly layouts. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or when I'm going to use them. I always like to have them on hand. But yeah, it's a weekly version. And I'll show you what they look like. But I know that I'm going to use the dashboard that came with this. The dashboard is right there on the front. And the inserts themselves. It's just your basic hourly layout. But I like that it has a list or uh, some lines on the side to use as a checklist for the week because normally I like to write out an entire checklist of the things that I want to accomplish for the week and then it has the hourly layout from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. if I so choose to use that but this dashboard is definitely going in the plan I also did get this it's a page marker that is made out of that shiny or glass plastic that's what it's called the glass plastic material from cloth and paper and it's like half the page and it does have a ruler on the side but I thought this was good to mark certain areas in my planner sometimes I might mark the current day or the current month we'll see how I use that but that's what I picked up also this week for cloth and paper or this year from, from cloth and paper last year I used the vertical layout and like I said you can see that in my planner video for 2020 I'll link it for you um, I used the weekly vertical layout. This year I got the dated daily, which is actually a week on four pages, I believe. Something like that. I have to count them, but it should be a week on four pages. Um, that is how I typically 
wood plan when I did bullet journaling which I did for a few years like two or three years and I do like that layout a lot so I went with that for this year and also to accompany those um, inserts which I'll show you in a moment I got the monthlies because I definitely always like to have a monthly I know there are certain people who don't need a month overview but I like to have one so I got the monthlies and something I'm going to do different this year is set all of my monthlies together in one section and then put the weekly slash dailies in a different section. I don't normally do it like that. I'll do like January and then all the weeklies for January and then February the full month and then all the weeklies for February so on and so forth. So that is going to be a key. And these are the inserts I was referring to. Of course I opened everything because I am not an unboxing kind of woman. I as soon as it comes, I need to open it. I need to tear it open to make sure that it's definitely what I order. But just because I want to see what I order, I'm excited about it. So I cannot wait. So I didn't wait in this case either. So these are the, what are they called? Dated dailies. They're called the dated dailies for 2021. And you can see the layout starts and it gives you this week so you have priorities you have a section for notes where i can do that weekly list that i was referring to and a reference calendar for the current month and then it goes into each day of the week and each day has a section for the, your top three priorities your to-do list a note section and a schedule which i do like especially if i have meetings or things that are timed specifically and i need to know you know where to put them throughout my day i need to pay attention to those so every day has that uh, so it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you flip this over Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then it repeats for the next week, so on and so forth. So it is like a week on how many pages? One, two, three, four. A week on four pages. Yes. So I have those, and of course this is a thick, 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 very thick stack of paper. I'm not going to put this entire thing for the year into my planner. I'm thinking I will do just a month at a time. First, I thought two months, but maybe a month. We'll see how that works out, which is fine for me because like I said, I um, am used to bullet journaling or was used to bullet journaling and that's kind of the way you would set it up. And I can use the monthly overviews or the monthly layouts if I need to do any future planning, which is what I typically tend to do. I might put a sticky note on that monthly layout page if I need to record an appointment that's going to be in September, you know, and it's now like January. I'll put a um, sticky note there and just write it down there so that by the time I get to September or close to September, I can plot it out in my planner in more detail. Or sometimes I will use a perpetual calendar perpetual calendar I said that kind of fast which I did print one out I actually uh, downloaded one from square plans she's also here on YouTube but I got it from her Etsy shop and I'll show you that it's inside my work planner give me a minute so it's inside of my work planner um, I currently have this inside of a Koi and Han agenda cover It's one of the slim agenda covers and I'm showing this to you because there's a story <laughs> I was gonna use this for 2021 but I don't think I'm going to I'm not sure yet it's a long story. So I wanted a lighter colored planner cover or agenda cover. Um, that was my goal. But I ended up getting another black one. So while I do really like it, and I like that it doesn't have a clip, that's something I was going for. I like that it's a slimmer profile. Also something I was going for. Just not sure if I'm going to love it. So right now I have my work planner inside of this. For the moment, don't know if it'll stay in here. Uh, or what I'm going to do with this but I will show you the perpetual calendar that I use so this is a perpetual calendar it has each month listed and then the days for the month broken out and this is what I would use to do any kind of future planning so like I said if I needed to mark or notate an appointment that would be in September I put it on here and then when it's time to actually plan for the full month of September that's when I would look back at this perpetual calendar, see what's going on, see what I need to put out or list out. So I do use this currently for work or for the coming year. This is set up for 2021. And I'm gonna mark uh, holidays, um, days off, weekends, so on and so forth. So that's how I would do that here. That's how I handle future planning. Back to this. I also have these um glass plastic dividers they are the ceo dividers from cloth and paper and it's in the white foil 
which means the letters are white. So it's schedule, lists, projects, finances, goals and ideas, and miscellaneous. So I'm gonna use this as my divider. And I do have a planner cover. I thought I had more than one. I have another point on one, but this is the glass plastic um, cover from cloth and paper. In comparison to the Poi and Hun, I would say these are taller, but a little narrower, and they are like a shiny finish, whereas the Poi and Hun covers are more of like a matte finish on both sides. And that's what I do have covering the, um, that's what I do have covering my work planner that I just showed you. Okay. I also have a pocket or folder, a planner folder that I'll put in the back of my planner to hold any loose papers, receipts, or things that need to be filed away. And I have a couple more things, but that's for a different setup, not for this. <laughs> so that's all I have for today. And that's all that I have going into my planner right now. And I'm sorry about the lighting, if it keeps kind of going in and out, I notice it's doing that. I guess with the autofocus from this camera because of the window behind me. But this was the best place for me to sit to put all of this together and to take you guys along with me on the journey. All right, so let's start off with the covers. These are the covers. I'm gonna put the um, rings on. And actually, before I get started with that, or first of all, I have to decide which rings I'm going to do. I think I'll do, I think I'll do these, the 1.25 and the silver. And I don't know if I'm going to want to actually buy metal silver ones or metal black ones in the 1.25 inches. I'll have to see. But I'll put all of the rings on so that we can start building this and start getting it together and what I like to do is start from the back in terms of how I put all of the papers or inserts into the planner and I'll show you what I mean in a minute what I'm going to do is actually stack up everything that I'm planning to keep in here I'll stack it all up so that I know exactly what's going in. That actually helps me to see how many pages are gonna be in here. So maybe I should have done that before I chose the 1.25 inch discs, but we will see. So I'm gonna stack everything up and have that ready to go and ready to go in. But I need the list that I mentioned uh, where I wrote down all the things that I want to have housed in my 2021 planner. So I have it in this notebook and I have listed out like I said, everything that I want to have housed in my 2021 plan, like all the sections, the stars indicate the dividers that I'm gonna have in here. And then I have listed the inserts that are gonna go into each divider. And I still have to like finalize which dashboards I wanna put, you know, paired with these dividers, so on and so forth. So that's a little bit of a project. And I will say after this is set up today, um, I'm pretty sure things are going to change. It, the general layout will not change, but maybe the decoration or the, um, what's the word? I don't know. All the pretty things that I may add to the planner. That will likely change in the next few weeks. I have a couple more weeks before 2021 even starts. And what I mentioned about the Poi and Hun planner cover, I think, and I'm pretty sure, I'm going to order a custom planner cover, which will take like six to eight weeks to even get to me. But yes, things are gonna change. But I will say that the rings are gonna stay the same. So if I choose to stick with the silver rings or upgrade to black 1.25 inch rings, um, that's gonna stay the same. But just the planner cover is going to be different. So I'll definitely be sure to do an updated planner flip when that time comes, when I do order the custom planner and I have everything finalized the way I would like it to be. I imagine that will be in like February. So stay tuned and make sure you definitely don't forget to subscribe so you can catch that video as well.
All right, so referencing my list, I feel like I don't know where to put everything. But referencing my list, I'm going to put this to the side for now. All right, so first I have my clear cover, which you just saw me put together there. And then I was thinking I wanted to do one of these really bold dashboards. I really love the snake print. If you know me, anything animal print is wonderful in my book. So I will use this one first. We'll see if that changes. Who knows? So that's going to go next. And then I am going to do a table of contents. I actually purchased the download on Etsy, which I'll link below where you can, it's a PDF that I can customize or I can edit to tailor it to look exactly you know the way I have things laid out in my planner so I'm going to have a table of contents that's also going to go in here after this page but of course I cannot put together and print out the table of contents until I'm sure of all of the contents that will be in here so I'm going to do that so you'll see that in the final flip as well I am going to do my inbox next and on my inbox I would typically leave some sticky notes and this is where I would flip to if I needed to make a quick note or jot it down before I put it permanently into my planner. And I'm going to go ahead and do the one on this ink splatter dashboard as well because obviously as you have seen it might take some time. So we'll speed up. Alright, so next on my list, um, table of contents, inbox, um, I usually do my task cards next, and I have them on this piece of vellum, and I did show these in my last planner clip. These are inspired by Maddie Plans. Um, I do have actual cards that these are going to go on, and I have a card holder, a business card holder. It's still in my current planner, so that's where these will go, but I'm going to put these here for now until we get to that point so that's going to go there and then I was going to do another dashboard and I was thinking it would be one of these from Elmon Paper Co. I've decided that my word for the year is going to be balance so I did have these customized to include my word of the year as well as the definition and even distribution of weight enabling someone or something to remain upright and steady i feel like that's perfect for 2021 so my year my word of the year is balance and i have this one on matt what um uh, matt white cardstock as well it says word of the year balance so that will go somewhere in the front but i think i was thinking that i would do one of these to be right behind my dashboard yeah all of this is gonna be moved around and switched so oh let's do that there and then I can do the year at a glance here oh, or should I do it on top of that we'll see I'm gonna put these in here right like this for now and then We'll see when I flip through it. I will flip at the end of this to show you guys exactly what I do have in here and how I decided to set it up. Like I said, it may change. So the next thing that's going to go in there is my daily inserts and I do like to use dailies especially if I have a day where things are really busy maybe I have a lot of meetings or something of this sort and in my previous planner I used the dusk dividers the top tab dividers from cloth and paper and I actually just flipped them upside down so that I could flip to the dailies from the bottom of the planner down here I may do something similar but I don't know how I feel about the dusk. 
I have some clear ones, but I don't know. We'll see. So this is going to be the dashboard for the dailies. And since we're here, I do have some dailies that I already had printed. And I'll put a few of those in there. The current one that I'm loving, I have a paper test daily. Um, these are on Etsy. Yes, I have a paper test daily. I have a puff and pages daily. And I also have a simple and trendy co daily. These are the ones I'm liking at the moment. So I'm going to put those in there as well as I'll put these puffin pages dailies in there. I only keep maybe like a week's worth of dailies. I do not use a daily insert every day. So, you know, I don't need to house that many in my planner. And this little pocket I got from Amazon. And I've been keeping any of the principles uh, that I print out in here so I can keep them organized. I'll link this down below as well. And I did uh, create these labels on little sticky notes that aren't really sticking because these are really it's a really shiny plastic So I have to figure out a more permanent option, but I really do like these and I'll link it down below Okay, and we're at about the five minute mark. So that didn't take too long to get all of this stuff in here. I can already tell that there are gonna be some changes because a few of the inserts that are printed on my own did not come out correctly, or I didn't punch them correctly. So I need to print them again and punch them again. So I am going to do that. Okay, I am back. So I put everything together in the general layout or the general way I would want to. And I'm gonna just flip you through. Like I said, I'm gonna do like a brief flip through. This is not finalized in any kind of way. I'm sure it will be um, in the coming weeks. And as I stated, I believe, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna order a custom cover, but a custom uh, agenda cover. But I wanted to show you that I did flip to the rings, the metal rings, and everything I wanted to have in here does fit. I did only put one month of those weekly slash dailies or the week on four page uh, inserts. So I'll take you through. And I have this top cover on here, but when I have my planner inside of a leather cover, I typically do not use this front cover piece, but I still left it on there. And I'm noticing that I actually have it on backwards. Great. So the shiny side is on this side, which typically it should be on this side, I think. So yeah, they're both backwards, so I have to fix that. Maybe I will just bring this one to that side and then take off the other one. Anyway, here we go. So here's the front. So here's where I would open up to my planner. This is my inbox dashboard, the clear one. And my intention, my plan is to use these as wet erase markers. This is actually Staedtler Lumo Color. These are the permanent version. Um, there's a non-permanent version with the gray barrel. And that one, I believe it can wipe off with water. This one wipes off with something that's alcohol-based. So I typically just use um, maybe like a Clorox wipe or um, I'll use a little bit of hand sanitizer. I actually have this one that sits on my desk. Um, this is a really good hand sanitizer and it smells amazing. But I just spritz a little bit on a piece of tissue and wipe it off that way. And the reason for that is because I hate when dry erase markers smudge. Um, I also find that some wet erase markers, even though they're only supposed to be removed with a wet towel or whatever, still sometimes smudge. And I really like these because the point is fine and I can write with it as I normally would a regular pen. So my intention for this is to use them on this clear dashboard that I have here. 
and use these stickies to write down anything important that I need to remember for the week or for the day or anything quick. Um, you know, I'll write it down here and it stays there and I see it and it looks cute on top of the sticky, which is also on top of these um, dashboards. And I'll get to that in, the, in a minute. But I put the clip here, the Ollie clip, and I normally will put my pen on the Ollie clip. Actually, I put my things, what is it called? A Tombow. I normally put my Tombow and I use a different color every week. If I'm highlighting something, whatever, I'll stick my Tombow in there. But right now I have my new pen clipped to there. The pen normally goes in the pen holder on the agenda cover. So anyway, so I have that and um, these stickies can be reused from that perspective. So I'll just use them, you know, to write here and then wipe that off once I'm done with whatever that note is. Oh, and I will say about these dashboards, I actually found that they were looking more like dividers to me. So they were sticking out way too far on the side. So what I did is I punched holes with my happy planner punch to make them sit, to make this piece of paper sit further in on the ring so that it wasn't hanging over this side as much. And I do prefer that. It looks a little ugly on the uh, holes on the side if you actually, if I took it out and looked at it, but as it's in here on the rings, you can't tell. So now I have my word of the year vellum on top of the word of the year dashboard. I'm not sure if I like these two together, but that's what they're doing right now. And then I do still have this piece of vellum that I have my task cards on, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to not use the business card holder that I was using before. And I'm going to put these on task cards and put them inside the pockets on the planner cover that I get. This is another inbox that I had been using. I may move this one to my work planner, I'm not sure, but I just stuck it in here. And then I have my 2021 year at a glance layered on top of this Almond Paper Co. dashboard. This is one of the dream dashboards, I think dream one. And then we get into my schedule divider, which has the acrylic paint abstract uh, dashboard from East Street Paper Co. right behind it. And then we get into my monthlies. Before that, of course, a 2021 year at a glance. And I do normally mark out uh, my maybe vacation days, vacation time, things of that nature. Not normally holidays that I will put on there, but this is a list of holidays that it gives you. And here are all my monthlies. And I just stuck a sticker on there to see. These are the square transparent page flags from Cloth and Paper. I wanted to see how they line up with the squares on here. And it's almost a perfect fit. I think for the A5 size, it is a perfect fit, but this works just fine for me. And I can move these around should I need to, if I write something on there. So that's the month of January, then February, March, so on and so forth. So those are all of my monthlies, my month layouts. And then I move to this dashboard is separating my dated dailies or the week on four pages and i intend to use probably this page marker to mark the current month um speaking of that i also normally do use one of these ruler markers to mark i'm sorry to mark the current week and i use a ruler marker also to mark the current month so i'll have that in here and i normally have the tab at the bottom so i can flip right to the monthly overview so i'll use this to mark the current day that i'm on and um yeah so i just have one month in here so only about four to five weeks worth of these inserts do i have in the schedule section and that works for me and then the next area i have and i'm also going to do the same thing put some kind of divider or dashboard here i'm not sure what but something that sticks out so that i can easily flip to this section which is all of my dailies and i just have a few blank dailies some from simple and trendy co some from Puff and Pages. Um, I do have a few of the cloth and paper dailies also that I haven't put in here, but I could use them when I need to. And then the next section is my list. And I used this dashboard from Elmon Paper Co. It's the Dreams 2 dashboard, I believe. And the Laundry Guide from Cloth and Paper, that dashboard, which is really pretty. And this is my home section. So again, these will be for meal planning. Um, I don't necessarily need the entire year all at once, but I do typically keep the past months 
in here. So uh, if, for instance, if we're in July, I will still have the previous months here just to make sure that our meals are varied. And this is just for dinners, of course, not breakfast and lunches. I am not that put together. So I just like to make sure that the meals are varied and we're not repeating the same things too often. So that's what those are for. And then we get to my project section and I have this Jesus dashboard. Very dramatic, very nice. I do love it. Um, like I said, this will have some projects, some weekly projects that I do work on for my church and the media ministry at my church. So that's what will be in here. And then I have this boss that boss dashboard, which will be for YouTube and my personal business, probably. And I'll use these inserts the way I explained. And then I have the finance section and that opens up to this dashboard. And like I said, the layout will likely or preferably be this way where I can see the full month on one spread and I do have I think there's enough in here for 12 months so this is basically what this section will look like I'll also add some inserts for expense tracking I haven't put those in here yet I think in my other planner video you can see the expense tracker inserts that I do use I'll put a few of those in here and and those expenses refers to like discretionary spending things I didn't necessarily really need or things that weren't planned purchases. I just like to kind of keep track to make sure I'm not going crazy, you know, especially with um, buying custom planners and things of that nature. But that's what will go here. The next section is goals and ideas. And I did put the Kobe dashboard there. And I have this travel dashboard. Don't know that it'll stay. I just still have them in here. The body measurements print out that I noted before and these are upside down i actually noticed that a few of the printouts that i printed myself and punched i punched them upside down <laughs> so i need to go back and fix that because what happened is if you can see this way it makes the insert stick up farther than the dashboard and i don't like that look it's not the look i'm going for so i need to punch them the correct way oh wait no these were the wrong direction and now I just flip them over to the right direction but it's printed the wrong way anyway I'm gonna have to print those over again same with these habit trackers and oh I did say I'm gonna put these habit trackers into the list section I think so these will probably move once I get them printed and punched correctly and here I think you can see the example so I punched them the wrong way so that there's more overhang at the top and there shouldn't be it should be more overhang at the bottom so they should line up with these pages on this side so I need to redo that and then the last section is miscellaneous that I don't have anything planned for and I have this ink splatter or ink spot dashboard from cloth and paper this is also the um can be used as a dry erase board not sure that i will but it's very pretty i just really like it so that's here as well as the planning routine from why can i remember the company i'll put it on the screen that's there and i did customize it myself last year using adobe acrobat pro i think that's what it is and oh oh also i took out the folder that i had in here because it was pretty thick because it was pretty thick and I didn't really need it in here also it was taking up a lot of space I mean it's thick so I don't need it to take up that much space and if I do save little pieces of paper or anything in my planner it's usually in the pocket of the actual planner cover and I never really use a folder so I don't know why I even thought that I needed to put that in there I don't know I just thought it was nice I do think it's nice maybe I'll add that to my work planner if I take it out of the current cover that I have it in, we will see. So that is pretty much the entire setup, the entire setup currently. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about my 2021 planner setup. I really do hope you liked it. As I stated before, I will link anything down below that I have contained in here. Anything I mentioned, anything I talked about, the printouts, anything. Um, of course, if I forget to list anything, please definitely leave me a comment or message me. I'll be happy to give you the information on that. 
And if you have any questions about anything, I'll be happy to answer those as well down in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching my 2021 planner setup. I look forward to doing the final flip through for you in the next coming weeks. And don't forget to check out my planner playlist that I'll have linked at the end of this video and up in the eye. I'm pretty sure you'll have, you'll get a better insight of how I plan and what I like to use for my planner supplies because I absolutely love watching those videos about other people's planning routines and planner supplies. So I'm sure there are other people like me out there who would get a kick out of it too. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I think I said thank you like three times, but it can't hurt. That's all for today's video and I'll see you in the next one.